topics and opinions expressed in the following show are solely those of the hosts and their guests and not those of W4CY Radio, its employees, or affiliates. We make no recommendations or endorsements for radio show programs, services, or products mentioned on air or on our web. No liability, explicit or implied, shall be extended to W4CY Radio or its employees or affiliates. Any questions or comments should be directed to those show hosts. Thank you for choosing W4CY Radio. Draw me close to you Never let me go And lay it all down again To hear you say that I'm a friend Hey, the Almighty Creator desires a deep personal relationship with you. My name is James Robertson. I'm a researcher, publisher, and teacher regarding the matters and truths of the Almighty Creator, whose true name is Yah, the Eternally Self Existing. I've been actively serving Him since 1993, over 31 years. If you're not actively serving Yah, then by default you're serving Satan. My objective is to show you how you can make a big difference on earth qualify for a position of high esteem in heaven for eternity. It's important to understand that as a believer, just being good is not the point. It's relationship with Yah that counts. Without this, you'll be in a very unpleasant place in heaven with no way out. My aim is to show you how to get close. If you're a good person without a clear relationship with Yah, then you're in a spiritual no man's land and will not enter heaven when you die. The Creator has said regarding unbelievers, why would I want someone to spend eternity with me when they do not believe I exist? He is calling everybody on the planet to be involved and serve him and help him to have victory over Satan. My goal is to show you how to do this. Fundamentally, we each need to learn to see things on earth from Yah's perspective, and my aim is to teach you how. Please visit my website at www.endtimeissueministries.org. That's one word, endtimeissueministries.org. Or email me on james at endtimeissueministries.org. Today we're going to talk about a challenge for you to seek a power anointing and ministry. An overview of the, the broadcast. By way of introduction, at about 3 a.m. on the 2nd of January 1994, having read the book Good Morning Holy Spirit by Benny Hinn, being deeply impacted, I lay on my stomach praying, Father, I desire to know you the way Benny Hinn does. After praying this for some time, my bedroom was filled with a mighty rushing wind of Pentecost, and Father laid his hand upon me, pressing me into the bed. I woke the next morning with a powerful anointing under which I ministered until mid-1996, and I lost it in a bitter and acrimonious divorce battle. I desire such an anointing for you. I'll walk you through a number of elements of preparation to receive a power anointing, starting with decision followed by adopting a disciplined daily regime. I'll talk about worship and learning and advise you to clean up your doctrine. I'll reference the article 7 components of drawing close and counsel you to observe the true Sabbaths. I'll stress the importance of fasting and advise you to keep knocking. I'll encourage you to minister. Finally, we will look at the state of your relationship with your mighty creator. So I'm basing this on Article 2021-0110, a challenge for you to seek a power anointing and ministry. On Friday the 12th of March 1993, backslidden in adultery and planning suicide in a locked room, the Almighty's Creator spoke to me audibly and said, Phone Ian Peters. He has something you need. I phoned Ian. He invited me round to dinner and shared with me his living relationship with the Creator. He took me to his church and I commenced a journey that I've now been on for over 31 years. I climbed into this new relationship, spending hours daily praying, reading the Bible, reading anointed books, listening to teaching tapes, and singing along with worship tapes going to church twice on Sundays, etc. Periodically, Father would use me to minister to people, and I became more confident little by little. I'm giving you some background because I want to put what I'm going to share with you today in that context. I came to this 
with very little understanding of what was possible for me. I was going to a church which was very strongly charismatic. There was a lot happening. There were a lot of anointed people. There were a lot of anointed preachers. Um, and I just went with the flow. I Father spoke to me in a way that really got me to pay attention. So just after nine months later, at about 3 a.m. on the 2nd of January, 1994, having read the book, Good Morning, Holy Spirit, by Benny Hinn, and being deeply impacted, I lay on my stomach praying, Father, I desire to know you the way Benny Hinn does. After praying this for some time, my bedroom was filled with a mighty rushing wind of Pentecost, and Father laid his hand upon me, pressing me into the bed. I woke the next morning with a powerful anointing under which I ministered until mid-1996 when I lost it in a bitter and acrimonious divorce battle. Sadly, his father has said that any anointing can only be given once, so I will never again minister in that level of power, but I desire it for you. That experience teaches me that it is possible for you to seek a power anointing and power ministry comparable to the examples I've shared in previous broadcasts. In my case, it was Benny Hinn and Good Morning Holy Spirit, and what you happen to believe about uh, that person today in terms of where his journey has been in the past 30 years, that's between you and the Creator. I'm not getting involved in that. My key point here is that I had a benchmark and a hunger. You could just as well pray, Father, I want to know you the way you're sure and you hear. You could pick any strongly anointed individual and start saying, Father, I want to know you the way that person does. You could take me as an example if you wanted to. And you get a different anointing depending on who you pick. And you don't have to pick anyone. You can just say, Father, fill me with your spirit. You can purchase Good Morning Holy Spirit on Amazon or download it as a free PDF online. The book is not essential. You can watch the videos I linked to a while back. I see the important videos to watch web page. And you can be impressed by the anointing on any or all of those videos. When you watch those videos on YouTube, other videos on other power servants will be offered. Watch as many as you like, taking account of the caveats that I offer with regard to names, etc. The key objective is for you to get to a point where with deep conviction you play something along the lines of, Father, I desire to know you the way name or names knew you. I desire to move in comparable power. I ask you to guide me down a journey that will bring me to that point. Then do what you find to do. The rest of this article will give you some suggestions as to how to get there. Folks, in all that I teach, I'm focusing on how do you get to the top of the mountain? What's it like to get to the top of the mountain? How do you how do you really reach out to Yah, the Creator, and have a deep relationship with Him and make a real difference? So I'm, I'm, I'm very definitely sharing a message that may not appeal to a lot of people. But I don't think that the majority of people know that this is possible. The, the key part of my message is that what I'm sharing with you is available to you. It doesn't matter where you are today in your relationship with the Creator. If you have a hunger, if you're listening to my broadcasts saying, you know, I really want to get to know the, the Creator better, just go for it. He wants you to be His friend. So in advocating what I'm sharing with you tonight, I want to stress, I got there after nine months of intense seeking. I was new to this. I didn't really know what was going to happen when I prayed what I prayed. I received very little help from my church, albeit that there was a strong anointing operating in that ministry, 
and there were regular visiting preachers operating under a strong anointing. So I repeatedly had hands laid on me and was prayed for by highly anointed individuals. I got there using God, the Lord, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, etc., before the grace ran out of those on those names in 2003. I got there while running my business full-time, and I got there without doing half of the things that I advocate in what follows. What I advocate is the maximum to ensure you succeed in your quest. So you can get there too, armed with the knowledge you've gained from me and my website and whatever my articles you've read. What I would point out, which I didn't really get until relatively recently, is while the church I was going to didn't recognize my anointing because I hadn't been to their Bible college, etc., etc., and I was too new to all of this. So I walked away from them a year or so later. They did lay hands on me. So I had been building anointing during those nine months, not that I was particularly conscious of it. And then when I prayed the prayer that I just shared with you, a power anointing came on me. And what this message is about is to say that you too can have a power anointing. What do I mean by a power anointing? Heal the sick, deliver from people from demons. If you really go the whole distance, you can potentially get to a place where you're doing the sort of things that you're sure Jesus was doing, walk on water, raise the dead, and so forth. I had the privilege uh, back in 2010 of meeting a lady who was extremely strongly anointed. She had a team of intercessors around the world who were backing her up. And uh, she had, uh, on one occasion, um, translated. She left home late for a meeting uh, with a two-hour drive ahead of her. And a few minutes later, she arrived at her destination, having just translated uh, quite some distance. She'd raised 19 people from the dead. And the thing that I want to say to you is that if you desire that, it's completely available to you. I want to stress that what follows is my suggestion of what I believed on based on experience will get you to that level of anointing in one to two years maximum, possibly shorter depending on how much time and effort you put into your relationship with Father. I suggest the following is a rough indication based on what I did before the 2nd of January 94. Your journey will be unique as Father leads you and based on where you are today. Do all the following concurrently and starting as quickly as you choose. I need to caveat that. At the time that I wrote that, that was really what I, I believe. But as I've just said, what I underestimated, I believe, was that I had people with a powerful anointing lay hands on me some number of times during that um, period of nine months. So if you can get somebody who is anointed to pray for you, that will certainly help. How do you get there? Well, the first step you need to do is to take a decision. Take a strong, conscious decision and pray whichever prayer you think is appropriate. Keep praying this at intervals till it's fully answered. If you've just started believing or you've just started to set out on a journey to become close to your, you're not going to get a power anointing in, in day one. It takes time. The, the anointing is the set-apart spirit, the Holy Spirit of Yah poured out on you in substantial measure. When you first believe, you get a betrothal portion of the Spirit of Yah. When you receive the baptism of the or the immersion of the set apart spirit, you get a, a marriage portion of the Spirit of Yah. As you grow closer to Yah, as you worship, etc., that impartation of His Spirit grows stronger. And 
a lot of what I'm going to share with you in the next few minutes is about how do you get that impartation of his spirit to grow stronger. If you are doing it on your own and you don't have anointed people to pray for you, as I've just indicated, it's potentially going to be more challenging than if you have somebody who's strongly anointed. And regrettably, I'm not that person. As I said, in 96, I lost the power anointing that I had. I've had various other anointings through that. I've come down a journey with a lot of mistakes and a lot of wrong turnings, which have taught me a lot. But it means that I, I, I can't offer you I can't lay my hands on you and, and, and impart an intense anointing to you, and that's uh, great sadness for me on that. Point number two, embark on a disciplined daily regime. Embark on a regime of getting up early, say at 5 a.m. and praying on your knees or flat on your face on the floor for at least an hour every day. Read anointed writings. Um, there's lots of books out there. <clears throat> You've got my books and the website, etc. You can read the Bible. Don't get stuck on the Bible. Read it maybe three times over a year or two, looking at the learnings you can get from anointed people there. <clears throat> Repeat the same before you go to bed, so at least an hour praying and an hour reading. In between that, um, you should worship. Note that as soon as the anointing builds, you will have the energy and vitality to operate with less sleep, and that will make the above possible. So there's, 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 there's multiple dynamics at play here. As you get closer to Father, as you get more of His Spirit in you, He will invigorate you and strengthen you and vitalize you so that you need less sleep, you have more energy, uh, more concentration. It's a progressive process, and the process that you, the, the stages that you follow are not necessarily the stages that I followed. We each walk our own journey, as I stressed in my last broadcast. So read the Bible from the perspective of seeing what other highly anointed ones accomplished, looking for patterns and role models. Ask Father to guide you. You're sure, incorrectly, Jesus. Is the ultimate role model. Read about him believing that you can do what he did. I suggest that you first read the King James Version cover to cover, then read the Amplified Bible, and then in due course the Scriptures from the Institute of Scripture Research. Be aware of the errors in these translations and correct as you read. They're all available on Amazon, and there may be free downloads on the Internet if you search on Google. My rendering of the entire Bible in, based on the King James Version in draft form is available on the website under the ETI Bible Version page. I've replaced, I've, I've put Father's correct name in more than 10,000 places in the Old Testament, several thousand places in the New Testament. So, one of the things that I did soon after I came back to serving Father was he said to me, read the Gospels, the books of good news, about Yeshua, Jesus, as though you are Yeshua. In those days, I only knew Jesus. So read it and say, when he turns the water into wine, imagine you turning the water into wine. When he raises Lazarus from the dead, um, imagine that you're doing that. When he walks on water, imagine that you're doing that. See what it's like to heal the sick, uh, open blind eyes, open deaf ears. Don't read it as, here's this man on a pedestal. Read it as, this is available to me if I choose to seek it. And you can do the same with Daniel. You can do the same with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You can do it with David. You can do it with Solomon. Just pick a role model. And, and, and you, as I said earlier, you can just say, Father, I desire to know you the way Daniel knew you. I want extreme wisdom and self-discipline, etc. Or Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I want to be able to stand up for you in adverse circumstances. Whatever gets your attention. 
in, totally entitled to say, Father, I desire to know you the way you're showing you. you. My articles are about a 1250, 1250 web pages, two and a half thousand articles available on the website. All the articles on the website are catalog, catalogued on the articles page, the keyword cloud, the table of contents, and the Google search. These will help you to find material of interest in your journey. The key articles are near the top of the menu. We read the website from the top down. And you don't have to go with my website. It's just that it's a, I, I testify that if there's a fair level of inspiration and a fair level of anointing on most of the material on the website. There's a lot of information there that you won't find uh, anywhere else. Uh, a lot of what's there is, is information that I have obtained by direct revelation. Uh, so it's a good place to look. There are lots of other books around. Um, all sorts of people have written books with different levels of anointing. Ask Father to show you what's relevant to you. Rick Joyner has written a, a number of books of various levels of anointing and inspiration. The Final Quest, really important. The Call, really important. Uh, all anointed books. Just learn about Father. Visualize yourself doing these things. And then worship for at least an hour every day. Listen to worship songs as much of the day as possible with earbuds or ed headphones on your mobile phone if necessary. Uh, see the web page recommended worship songs. And there are a couple more web pages with songs I recently uploaded of just over 50 individual songs which are there you can d listen to off the website one at a time or download one at a time or there's a zip file with all 50 uh, songs in it they're all songs that i've corrected doctrinal error etc for the most part so you can listen while you're on public transport in your car in the office wherever you possibly can without disrupting other people and causing strife it's important not to sing out wrong words or sing them in your heart Make substitutions as the article recommended worship songs uh, recommends. Worship is making love to Father. It's it's growing close to Him. As you worship, receive an impartation of His Spirit. Father, I thank you that you fill me with your Spirit. And if you do that day in and day out, the anointing on you will grow. And I, I, I stress that this is available to any human being. We were created to be friends of the Almighty. We were created to be deeply filled with His Spirit. We were created to do acts of anointing on his behalf it's available to you if you seek it then learning learn about the matters of the eye if you have access to anointed audio teaching uh, you can listen to this while traveling but be cautious about listening to teaching that is strongly bible struck jesus focused in addition read anointed teachings at every opportunity Constantly ask questions of Father and watch out for answers and grow in your knowledge of Yah and His ways. See suggestions for reading that I've just mentioned. There's um, software called Speechelo, S-P-E-E-C-H-E-L-O, -E -E I think it is, on the internet that you can buy, that you can use to, to um, convert any text on a computer into, into audio. Uh, you can download it, uh, save it on your computer. Uh, so you can, if, you, if there's a book that you want to to review, you can you can listen to it. You can use something like Speechlow, Speechify. There are a number of different products on the internet um, to convert it to to audio, and then you can listen to it. I'm about to start a program to um, use Speechlow to. Uh, convert or to, to do text-to-voice conversion 
on the more important articles on the website so that it'll be available audio. Uh, they're also offering a translate function. So uh, in time, I may subscribe to that and, and look at uh, translating some of the more important articles into other languages. So there's, there's <clears throat> things that you can do to immerse yourself in learning about the matters of, of, of your, there's a lot of rubbish out there. Don't get me wrong, but ask father to show you, ask him to help you. You're, you're welcome to give me a, drop me an email and I'll, I'll guide you as well. And then clean up your doctrine. Stop using the Lord, God, Jesus, Christ, cross. Stop referring to Sunday as the Sabbath. Use Yah, the eternally self-existing, not the Lord, Use or Yahweh, or Yahweh. Use the Almighty, Almighty One, instead of God. Use Yeshua instead of Jesus. Anointing with the Spirit of Yah instead of Christ. Stake instead of cross. The true Sabbath is Saturday, not Sunday. Observe the, the six set-apart days, the six high Sabbaths, Passover, Pentecost, um, the Day of Trumpets, the Day of Atonement, the Feast of Tabernacles, First and Great Days. There's guidance on the website on all of these, these matters. Remember also that Jesus is not God and the Bible is not the Word of God. There's detailed analysis on the website as to why those are mistaken. Uh, there's a web page, Can You Prove That Jesus Is God? And there's another web page, Can You Prove That The Bible Is The Word Of God? Um, and that goes into, it rebuts all the, the regular artic, uh, arguments. There's a huge amount of, of, of incorrect teaching in the Christian church, and from the little I know, there's a lot of incorrect teaching in every religion. It's just the way it is. The satanic and demonic realm are hell-bent literally on messing up anybody who believes. So you've got to use discernment. You've got to ask Father to help you. Again, drop me an email and I will be happy to guide you and pray with you and point out the, the things. So I've got a mailing list email me to be added to the mailing list you get a weekly article in a specific pro progression then seven components of drawing close download the article off the website seven components of drawing close to you are uh, on the website of that web page of that name put it all into practice in particular take notice of the spiritual audit go through your entire life pull out all the sins that you can think of repent, con confess, repent, take bread and wine communion, move on. Shaving, symbolically or actual shaving, to remove spiritual defilement, remember that a woman should not shave her head. Don't shave your eyebrows, but you can shave everything else. If you're a man, you can shave your head as well if you really go for it. It's cutting off the ties with the world, cutting off the ties with the past. Full body anointing with the blood of the covenant grape juice or red red grape juice or red wine prayed over to represent the blood of the covenant, the blood of Yeshua. Scrubbing yourself effectively and move, removing defilement from the from the worldly situation. Likewise with the olive oil representing the oil of the spirit. Scrub yourself with, with that, praying to be filled with the spirit. And then triple immersion, once for cleansing of sin, once for immersion into the, the kingdom, for immersion into the spirit, and once for immersion into the kingdom. Um, in a swimming pool, you can do it in a bath of uh, a bathroom bath if you if you don't have access to anything else. And deliverance from demons and cutting off curses is a whole protocol about how you do that and, and there's guidance on other things including worship prayer etc sample prayers and, and so forth there's a lot in that article it's about 70 pages so get the article put it into practice it's going to take time it's a an iterative process all of this is an iterative process it's not just nice simple straight line you're living in a world that's contaminated. You're coming from a position of being contaminated, and I'm not <laughs> being any insulting or anything. It's just the way it is. 
you live in this world, you get contaminated by the world, unless you do the things that I'm talking about. And you can say, that's too radical for me, you crazy James, why do you do these things? That doesn't make any sense. I'm just telling you because it's what I've done and it works. Um, <laughs> you don't have to do it. I mean, but just check it out. If you're really serious, I suggest you do all these things and then observe the true Sabbaths. Observe the Saturday Sabbath strictly. Worship for at least two hours. If you know somebody on the same journey, fellowship with them, even if you do it remotely on Zoom or whatever. Spend several hours in, on the Sabbath reading anointed writings and start writing and teaching as you lead. Remember that if you can't be bothered to strictly observe the true Sabbaths, why should you all pay much attention to your prayers? Sabbath observance is, is about giving back to Father. I do a lot of my ministry on the Sabbath. I'm by bloodline is Levite, so I'm a temple servant. And so I write articles, I publish uh, these broadcasts are published every every Saturday, or well, mostly on a Saturday, sometimes another day. Um, but dedicate the Sabbath to serving you and to worshiping and to drawing close to him. It's giving back to him. And if you don't get that, if you insist on doing worldly things and going to the bank and... Just don't be surprised if 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 he takes you if you take him lightly. Why should he not take you lightly? If you want him to be serious about you, you need to be serious about him. And then fasting. I would suggest that if you are impacted by what I'm sharing with you today, if you've been impacted by previous messages, immediately embark on a seven-day water-only fast, seeking cleansing and anointing and truth. Then I would suggest two months later you take seven by three-day water-only fast, so at weekly intervals. So every week you fast for three days, eat for four days, uh, seeking revelation and correction of error. Therefore, thereafter, fast again as led. If you're really going for it as a minimum in the first year, I would suggest you should undertake at least one more uh, seven iterations of three-day weekly fasts or at the very minimum uh, another seven-day water-only fast. It's extreme. You don't have to do it. But if you really, really want to progress with Father, you've got to fast. It's just that simple. If you really want to get up the mountain, you need to fast. Then at the end of that first year, if you really desire a powerful anointing and your health and anointing allows, you could then embark on a 40-day water-only fast. Be prepared to be quite weak. You need to check this out from a health point of view. That said, if you've done all the above rigorously for a year, your level of anointing should be such that you'll handle the 40 days without too much difficulty. The anointing will strengthen you as it did Yeshua in the wilderness. Folks, again, you can say that it's extreme, but there's a, a body of opinion which says that if you want to move in the power gifts, you need to do a 40-day water-only fast. The woman I mentioned earlier had done two 40-day fasts, and, and she, she'd raised 19 people from the dead at the time that I knew her. And then keep knocking until the door is fully opened. Keep praying prayers like the one that I shared at the beginning. I want to know you like. And other prayers. I ask, Father, fill me with your spirit. Just keep saying, Father, fill me with your spirit. Fill me with your spirit. I want to know you the way whoever, Yeshua, knows you. I want to know you the way James knows you. I want to know you the way Daniel knew you. I want to know you the way who, David, whoever takes got your attention when you heard about or just, I want to be filled with your spirit. Just pour out your spirit on me, please, Father. And keep keep praying that. Keep doing that. Keep praying prayers like that and asking Father to fill you and use you. Note that the indications are that with a number of powerful servants, they did much less than I've set out here. 
So it is possible your prayers will be answered sooner than I've indicated. And maybe it'll take longer. I, I, there's, there's no simple recipe here, folks. We're coming, as I said just now, from a place of extreme defilement. Demons and all the other crud that just permeates the entire planet. So, and there's a, a mindset shift that has to take place and a, an attitude shift and, and it takes time. But if you really sincerely want to get close to Father, it really is worth it. <laughs> I say that after 31 years. And then minister. Whenever an opportunity presents itself to minister and as Father leads, start to minister, start to teach, witness to people, do whatever you find to do to share what you have. The more you share, the stronger the anointing will become. I found as I started to grow in the anointing, Father would, I'd be driving along the motorway and <clears throat> in South Africa, you could stop on the motorway. Uh, you didn't have all the barriers, etc., that you have in, in the UK, for example. And he'd say, stop and give that hitchhiker a lift. And I'd say, no, I don't like picking up hitchhikers. And I'd drive past, and he'd just keep saying to me, James, go and pick up that hitchhiker. And I'd come off with the next um, off-ramp, right cycle back, pick the guy up, find that it was a, a, a believer who'd been praying for another believer to help them. And so I got encouraged by these little acts of obedience where I got feedback which evidenced that I was hearing him clearly. And it doesn't have to be picking up um, hitchhikers. It can be giving a little bit of money to a beggar. It can be hearing Father say something to you and for somebody else and going to that person and saying, uh, I believe that the Almighty is saying to me such and such and such and such. I've had situations where people say, oh, thank goodness. That's what we've been asking Father about. And so as you, as you grow, as you attune yourself, as you start hearing him more, he will start using you more. And the more he uses you, the more you give out, the more you'll get in. Note that I did not do all the above at the time that I had that experience back in 94. I've done pretty much everything that I've spoken about now subsequently. Um, much of what is listed was unknown to me in 1994. I also ran my business full time. I went into partnership with two men in that year as well. I had office premises. So it's quite possible for you to come to a position of great anointing and great power while continuing in full-time employment. I've stayed in full-time employment throughout the 31 years. There have been a few years where I've focused almost entirely on ministry, uh, but most of the time I've been in business and uh, after hours. One of the things I've been very disciplined about is listening to, to uh, worship songs in, in the car, singing along with them, headphones on, or earbuds on, on a bus and, and in the office, etc. Et I would suggest that if you're taking this really seriously, you will come to a place where you will start ministering full-time. That's the ultimate prize. That you can get to the, the lady I spoke about. She had a full-time ministry. She had followers all over the world. Uh, and they they were tithing to her her ministry such that she was completely self-sufficient uh, and she ministered uh, full-time 24 7 three, six, five. Um, she was literally at a point where if she went to a, 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 a clothing store and she saw an item of clothing that she wanted she would say father I'd like that and within a, a minute or two, there'd be a, 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 an alert on her phone to say that somebody had just paid that amount into her bank account. That's, that's the level that you can get to. And then you can minister full time. You may live moderately frugally. You're not going to have a lavish lifestyle, but 
I don't think that's the most important thing. So in conclusion, I hope this gives you a good idea of what it will take to reach a position of strong anointing. I must stress that as far as I know, this is the maximum. Depending on your life to this point, you may reach a power anointing in much less time and with much less effort. But I can't give you a cast iron guarantee. It's between you and Father. It's, it's a function of all the stuff that's happened in your life up to this moment in time. It's a function of how strongly you commit, how much time you spend in prayer and study and worship and doing things for Father. Just go with the flow and just go for it because it's really worth it. And, and when you do that, you are climbing the mountain you're getting close to Father. You're qualifying for a high throne. It's all interlinked. I've spoken a lot about qualifying for a high throne and just mentioned the anointing. And, and today I've really zoomed in on the anointing and, and what's required to get the anointing. So I'm just trying to balance that picture. So I really encourage you to go for it. And as I say, it doesn't matter what your background is. Father will meet you where you are and he will help you to get there. So I want to close by asking you, what is the state of your relationship with the Almighty Creator? I'd like to ask you to critically examine where you are relative to him. Do you talk to him constantly throughout the day and allow him to lead you in every possible way? Are you conscious of him at all times? Do you worship him at every opportunity? Do you count him your friend? Have you clearly and unambiguously heard him call you friend? If not, you're failing in your life purpose and you'll be bitterly disappointed when you die. It doesn't matter how rich or poor you are, how educated or uneducated you are, how tall or short, thin or fat. It doesn't matter whether you're African, Asian, American, European, Caucasian, Indian, whatever doesn't matter if you're an outright Satanist. doesn't matter if you're the most advanced Satanist on the planet. Father wants you to become his friend. It's that simple. That's what we were created for, is to be his friend. So don't put all sorts of mental obstacles in the way, well, I don't go to church, I don't do this, I don't do that, I've done this, I've done all these terrible things, I've killed somebody, whatever. Just go to him today and say, Father Yah, James Robertson says I can become your friend, I want to become your friend, please take me by the hand and lead me. Bring the people you want into my life, take the people you don't want in my life out. Open the doors you want open in my life. Close the doors you want closed in my life. Show me what to read. Show me who to talk to. Show me what to pray. Show me how to worship. Help me, Father. And email me, and I will guide you. I will answer your questions. I'll pray with you. I'll counsel you. We can get on WhatsApp. Um, I'm here for you. That's what I live for. So in closing, thank you for listening. Please send me your questions to james at endtimeissueministries.org. Email me to join the mailing list, also james at endtimeissueministries.org. If you decide to draw close to the Almighty, please let me know, and I can connect with you by Skype, Zoom, Teams, email, or telephone so that I can help you with your journey. I hope to connect with you again next week when I will continue to explore how to become a friend of the Creator. Work with me to make a way for Yeshua to return in victory at the end of the millennium and make his enemies his footstool. If you email me to put you on the mailing list, I'll put you on an automation which will send you an article every week on a, on, on a weekly basis. At the moment, there's about 50, 50 articles in that. It will take you through a very specific journey of getting into more and more detail, uh, deeper things. Uh, really worth, worth getting onto that mailing list. And uh, as I say, email me. So James, heard your broadcast, really want to know more about this. I want to put this into practice. 
please can you help me we can get on zoom we can get on the phone we can get on whatsapp wherever i'll counsel you i'll give you some pointers i'll share the articles that i think are most relevant to you father will help me to help you when i know what you're going through so i'm i'm, I'm here for you as i say this is what i live for is is to help people to become close to father help you to get a power anointing help you to make a difference in the world i want to turn the world around and i need your help to do that so i'm encouraging you james at endtimeissueministries.org folks if you've been with me for a while uh, you're probably going to drop off now if this is the first time or one of the first few times you've been here there's some other information i'd like to share with you so for those of you who've been here for a while thank you so much have a good evening and uh, i'll see you again next week in closing who am i james robertson i have a doctorate in engineering and i'm a retired military commander i now work as a management consultant and project manager I have over 31 years experience of actively seeking to draw close to the Almighty following a dramatic encounter with him on the 12th of March 1993 when he spoke to me audibly in a locked room and I knew for certain that he was real. In learning about Father, I applied my deep-seated aversion to failure born out of an accident in early childhood, coupled to my engineering and military training of rigor and preventing failure, to my seeking of knowledge about Father. This journey led to numerous supernatural experiences, prayers answered, and clear communication with the Creator that forms the basis for what I teach in these programs. See the video Why Seek Relationship on the website for an overview of what I believe. Please visit the website at www.endtimeissueministries.org. The ETI version of the Bible with correction of key translation errors and the correct name of Yah is on the ETI Bible version page. Recordings of nearly all of the teachings broadcast so far are available on the internet. Search on Google for, quote, relationship with Creator Radio, unquote. Or also go to the transcripts of broadcasts page on the website. And from there you will find links to transcripts of all the broadcasts plus links to listen to them as well. There's also a broadcasts page uh, where the videos uh, of the last uh, year or so are available to, to view. Books with teachings from 1998 to May 2019 are at the Books for Printing page. Those are formatted A4 and A5 with covers and everything for printing. Publish regular email articles. As I've said, james at endtimeissueministries.org. To be added to the list to seek counsel, prayer, or give me feedback, visit the website. Use the Google search, article keyword, cloud, table of contents, and article search to locate the information you're looking for. I look forward to hearing from you. Good night. Father, I come to you, lifting up my hands. By your grace I stand, just because you love me. I know your favor. Hi, I'm James Robertson. I want to ask you what you are doing to seek a power anointing and touch the world for the Creator. If you're not deeply filled with the Spirit of Yah and doing things for the Creator in this life, you are missing out on a lot. Please listen to my broadcast on w4cy.com internet radio or talk4tv.com internet TV. Visit my website at www.endtimeissueministries.org or email me on james at endtimeissueministries.org to find out more. I look forward.